Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokegame here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Today we're gonna be featuring Mr. Mime. Now, Mr. Mime is commonly known for being a mime, so making barriers and things like that. In this generation, it unfortunately does not get nasty plot, which would be a really big uh, boost for it. It only has access to calm mime. It normally does have access to nasty plot, but just not in this generation. But uh, being fairy and It can encore your opponent, so if your opponent goes for rocks, you can encore them and make them go for it again. Uh, it is, though, kind of outclassed by Calm Mind Mega Alakazam. Mega Alakazam is faster, stronger, uh, and actually has the speed to, you know, get off attacks. So, uh, we'll see if Mr. Mind can actually end up doing something. But yeah, if you guys missed any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, there is a playlist down below. I always ask that you suggest a Pokemon you'd like to see me use, but I do ask that you check out the playlist, because if it's not already on a thumbnail... That means I haven't used it or I haven't featured it. But if it is, that means I already did. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. But uh, feel free to check out the playlist uh, down below. Feel free to check out the team building video. And uh, we'll get right into the battles on the Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu ladder. Hopefully we can get Mr. Mime to pick up a KO or two. Uh, maybe go for Encore on some Stealth Rock. Maybe open up a door for the Mega Beedra I do have. But yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec with the battle. All right, guys. So we got a game and my opponent has a bunch of threats. Gyarados. Zapdos, Alakazam, Aerodactyl, Alolan Muck, and uh, Rhydon. I think that my Mr. Mime is just going to be good for chipping away at my opponent. Now, if I'm him, I lead off with my Rocker. It's good versus the majority of my team, actually. Uh, if he leads Zapdos, that's fine because it can go directly onto Rhydon, and his main way of dealing with that will probably be his Gyarados, which if it Mega Evolves, I'll be stronger versus that with my Mr. Mime's Dazzling Gleam. Um... Definitely going to be a, a tough one, though, just based on my opponent's just, just team in general. But I think Alolan Sandslash can win in the end very easily, actually. Uh, no, I did say it's a tough game, but, I mean, it has a lot of potential to win in the end game. Uh, because it has, obviously, the Ice Shard for Aerodactyl, Zapdos. Just does good damage versus everything. Ends up leading off a of Gyarados. Now, this is interesting because if he doesn't Mega Evolve, my Thunderbolt does a lot. And if he does opt to Mega Evolve, then that means he's not going to Mega Evolve both Aerodactyl or the... Uh, He's not going to Mega Evolve both Aerodactyl or the, uh, the Zam. Hmm. Regardless, I do need Starmie around for Aerodactyl. Uh, if he does opt to Mega Evolve, uh, regardless, Dragonite's the best play. Especially because it can just click Outrage and do some damage to him. It is a great late game cleaner, but I do have Thunderbolt on that thing as well. But if he Mega Evolves, it's worse for me. So he switches out, fearing the Thunderbolt, maybe going Alolan Muck. He does go Alolan Muck, which leads it to believe that he does not want to Mega Evolve in this game. I'm going to go for a safe Earthquake. I don't mind getting Toxic here. Uh, if he goes back out into uh, Gyarados, it's not a big deal. I actually need damage on this thing, too, for my uh, Mr. Mime to do anything. Unfortunately, Mr. Mime just has a bad speed tier in this game. Aerodactyl, uh, Zam, and Zapdos all outspeed it if they are running speed-boosting natures. Uh, I don't think Zam or Arrow need speed-boosting natures to outspeed anyway. I know Zapdos does need Timid, though, to outspeed it. Let's see how he switches into. Go Zapdos on the uh, Earthquake. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he'd U-turn here or Toxic, but I do want to try and get up rocks, especially with all the switching going around. Again, I do still have my Starmie around for the Aerodactyl, and rocks are going to be really nice just for pressuring that Gyarados and uh, hopefully putting you know things in range of my Mr. Mime. Like Psychic does a good chunk. Let's see if he U-turns immediately or goes for Toxic. Goes right for Thunder Wave. Alright, awesome. So I get a lot out of this turn because I get up, I get up Rocks, which is just huge. Rocks are absolutely huge in this game. Like I said, he, he's, um, he's more than likely not Mega Evolving his Gyarados because he didn't Mega Evolve at turn 1 to Crunch. Uh, so he's more than likely the Mega Evolving Aerodactyl or Zam. So again, Rocks going to be really big, getting off that 25% on Gyarados. Helping me chip away as well. goes out to Gyarados now as I'm able to get on my rocks. Beautiful. I'm assuming you're just going to waterfall here. I'm going to keep Rhydon alive because it can take a hit from Aerodactyl and Zapdos. It's basically a free switching. Uh, and we'll go Dragonite on the anticipated uh, on the anticipated waterfall. He may go for Dragon Tail though, predicting me to switch into Dragonite, which would be a very good play. Or maybe for Crunch for some damage. 
does go for Dragon Tail. Very solid play on my opponent's part. Very solid play. Uh, ideally, Beedro or Starmie come in. I get Rhydon again. Not good for me. Uh, so we'll go Dragonite here. The cool thing is, Dragon Tail is always minus priority. So I can Roost on that. And if he goes for Waterfall again, again, I can, I, like I said, I can Roost. If he goes for Dragon Tail, still really good play. Goes for Waterfall, nice. So I can Roost on this. Yes, Dragon Tail will bring me to about the same HP or just a little bit higher than this. But uh, Roost is still fair play for me. I'm assuming they might Dragon Tail again. It's just that with, with Dragonite being in, it's a little bit harder for Gyarados. Because Outrage does so much. And you want Gyarados to help check Beedrill. But you also want Rhydon to help check Beedrill. So there's just a few tough turns for my opponent, I feel. Let's see if they go right on here. Go Zapdos. Alright, so that gives me a free Roost. I'm okay with that. Especially because he basically got no damage off of my, on my Dragonite. Even if he U-turns here, my best play is to still always go out into Rhydon. Because if he does not U-turn, I can Dragon Tail. And chipping away this is nice for Beedrill. Also, if he doesn't opt to Mega Evolve his Aerodactyl and opts to Mega Evolve his Alakazam, uh, my Beedrill does outspeed Aerodactyl and I have Outrage. So it does a good chunk. A really good chunk. It's the only move that can KO after two turns of rocks. Nothing else could. Goes to Thunderbolt. Nice. And now we're going to throw off a Dragon Tail. Because I don't want him going his own right on on the rock slide. I doubt he'd go Gyarados. I think he will go right on, but I don't want an Earthquake either. I basically just want to rack up damage on whatever he has. That's like the main goal of it. So I'm assuming he U-turned out to one of those. He showed Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, and U-turn, which means last move is more than likely Roost. So no Drill Pack, no Toxic. And yeah, as long as we connect this Dragon Tail, I'm assuming it's going to be on Rhydon. Um, we get some nice momentum there. We might even get back in the Zathos. Yep, there's a Rhydon coming in. Nice, I get my own Dragon Tail off, hopefully. Everything chipping away at this is always good for Beedrill. Great for mine. Nice, beautiful chip. I get a crit as well, which is pretty big. Let's see what we get in. We get in Muck. So, I'm not going to stay in. Uh, I'm not about to be Mega Drained by a Muck. I do think Dragonite's a fair play here. He may go Zapdos. Uh, he may try and go for Mega Drain. I am in range of Mega Drain. I don't think my opponent is actually a Mega Drainer. I think they're more of a foul play Toxicer. Uh, every single time I play someone who is uh, a well, Asian, <laughs> um, uh, that's not fair of me to assume, I guess. But every single time I do play someone who is Asian, they don't run Mega Drain on their muck. They usually foul play, Toxic type of thing. That's just something I, I've noticed. Very nice play. Bring out your ride on there. I'm going to make a really aggressive play here and anticipate him to want to go for rocks. So I'm going to get in my Mr. Mime. Now this is very aggressive because I can Encore him. He could obviously Rock Slide. Um, but if he does, then that's fine. If he does go for Rock, I can Encore him. Does go for Rock Slide. That's fine. This is going to do a lot. Doesn't knock me out. And the big thing is, this chip damage with Dazzling Gleam. Like, I'm always going for Dazzling Gleam here. Um, I don't think Mr. Mime was ever sleeping. But I think it is going to chip away at either Muck or Rhydon. And this chip damage with Dazzling Gleam means Beedrill knocks him out. So yeah, he does switch out, more than likely into Muck now. Maybe Zam. Does go Muck, nice. I get some nice Dazzling Gleam damage off on you. We take those. Ah, beautiful chip. Okay, awesome, awesome. Crunch would more than likely come out. Hmm. Mine can still come in on Gyarados as well and weaken it with Psychic. So I'm going to keep this thing alive. And I'm actually going to go Dragonite here. I'm going to go Dragonite. Um, I think a Toxic might come out. Maybe a Crunch. But yeah, that damage is so important on this. Poison Jab. Cool. 30% chance to Poison. Yep. Gets it on me. A little bit unfortunate, but I think that Outrage is just free. Basically, Outrage picks up a KO here. So I'm clicking it. Uh, if he gets rid of Muck, makes it easier for... Mr. Mind to click a button. If he goes Gyarados, still good. If he goes Zapdos, great as well. Like anything is good. I'm basically forcing him to revenge kill me with either Alakazam or Aerodactyl here. 
Saves Muck, maybe for my Mime. If, if Rhydon comes out, gets 2 KO'd. Yep, go Zapdos, maybe on the Earthquake. This will go down to Outrage, so I don't have to worry about Zapdos coming in at all. Go ahead, give me that KO. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. So Zapdos goes down. Uh, I still have Beedrill to knock out Muck, guaranteed. Aerodactyl can come out, but then he has no Scald switchings, right? Like, if he goes Gyarados after, it dies to Thunderbolt. He can go Gyarados now and maybe Mega Evolve. I can see that. Mega Evolve Crunch would be the only thing to knock me out, but I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl or Zam are coming out. Yep, Aerodactyl. Nice, and I let it, tell, I let it take Stealth Rock damage, which is very cute, crucial. And if he Mega Evolves this, then that means my Beedrill outspeeds his Alakazam. This goes for Rock Slide. Nice. Alright, awesome. So... Uh, a few key things about this. With Stealth Rock up and Aerodactyl coming in, Starmie does knock out Aerodactyl with Scald. So, as I mentioned, Scald is free. It also 2 AKOs Muck because of the damage I got from Dazzling Gleam on uh, Mr. Mime. So, yep. This is very free for me. Just click that Scald, uh, either knocking out Aerodactyl. It also leads me to believe that my opponent is going to Mega Evolve their, uh, their Alakazam. That's, I think that's guaranteed. Uh, so whatever he goes out into, I'm good. Muck will be 2 KO, like I said. Yep, there it is. Come in on the Scald. Uh, Aerodactyl also goes down to Outrage from Beedro now. So you will be 2 KO, my friend. Lovely. Go ahead and give me this Pokemon. This is where the Dazzling Gleam damage is really important because then his Starmie sw And this is where the Outrage on, on, on Zapdos is really important because as you can see, his Starmie switchings are very, very limited. Very limited. Uh, if he goes Zam, I'm very tempted to go for Thunder Wave. If he goes Gyarados, I'm obviously Thunderbolting. And if he opts to Mega Evolve, good play. But then again, my Beedra ops his entire team and, and 1v1s it, so... Does bring out Gyarados. Doesn't expect the Thunderbolt or he's going to try a Mega Evolve here. If he Mega Evolves, which is a good play, but also a bad play in hindsight. It's a good play and a bad play. So he may Mega Evolve. He mega, if he Mega Evolves to take this hit, yep. See, like, like I said, it's a good play, but it's a bad play in hindsight because Beedrill literally wins the game now. Because Beedrill knocks out Alakazam, it knocks out that. Could be. He can knock me out with Crunch. He may not even knock me out because I'm... If he's out of me, he'll knock me out, guaranteed. <laughs> so, uh, I can let Mr. Mime come in if I want to. Or I can just get in Beedrill, but I think I'm going to let him Mr. Mime. Why not? Why would I not? I Dazzling Gleam KOs you. And I'm faster than you, and you don't have a Dazzling Gleam switching. You got Aerodactyl, you probably die. You go Zam, I get off a little bit of damage. I already know I win the game with Beedrill. Because I force you to Mega Evolve. So let me go ahead and get my Dazzling Gleam KO right now. Give Mr. Mime this K Look how happy Mr. Mime looks. It's actually kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie. I always thought Mimes were a little bit, you know, creepy as a kid. I respected the fact that they played the silent game their entire life, but... I don't know. Ooh, stays in. Go ahead and give me this KO, my friend. Hey, Gyarados goes down. If he goes out to Zam and tries to calm mind up, I can just go right for the uh, the Encore there. Uh, Rhydon just needs one hit to go down. Aerodactyl can definitely come out. Or more than likely will come out. Uh, but if he does go out like a Zam, I'm going to click Encore. That way he can't calm mind. Brings out Aerodactyl. I uh, will just click Psychic here. He's going to knock me out, but then I can go out into my Sand Slash. He'll knock me out with Earthquake, most likely. But as I mentioned, I can then just go out to Sand Slash. Yep, Earthquake. Hey, Mr. Mime did his job. Weakened the Muck so he had no Alolan Muck switchings. Forced the Gyarados to Mega Evolve. Like, I, got, I need you guys to understand that. If Mr. Mime didn't get that damage off on Muck, and Muck wasn't 2 KO'd, it, it wouldn't have forced the Gyarados to Mega Evolve there to guarantee take the hit. So that was really important. Um... Yeah, that was very important. I'm trying to think what's the best end game to win. I think it's just going Sand Slash. Because I don't want to outrage just yet with my Beedrill. But I don't know if Sand Slash knocks out Aerodactyl at 50. Then again, it's, it's Adamant. 
And Sandslash is super strong. And Aerodactyl is, is kind of a pushover before Mega Evolving. I mean, I think either way, this is my best play. Just going out to this. Uh, because even if I don't KO, he doesn't KO me back. Yeah, I just go for uh, I don't I just go for double ice shard here. He has no ice resist left. Uh, this is a roll to KO him, and if I get it, amazing. If I don't, it's fine either way. I do end up getting it, and like I said, um, this was an end game I was kind of thinking would happen. If he goes out into his Alakazam, all I gotta do is click Ice Punch into Ice Shard and knock him out. If he goes right on, I just Ice Punch that, uh, and then Beedrill wins me the game. So brings out Alakazam. Like I said, all I gotta do is Ice Punch this into Ice Shard. So Mr. Mime did its job, for sure. Yeah, Mr. Mime definitely did his job. And I resist every hit. Well, I don't resist Shadow Ball, but I, I definitely resist this. Yep. Go ahead and give me some damage. And if this doesn't KO you, I have Ice Shard to pick you off. And uh, all I gotta do is Ice Punch the Rhydon, weakening it for my for my Beedrill or for my own Rhydon, and I win. Yep. And my opponent knew that I basically Ice Sharded there, and then Rhydon would go down to the combination of Ice Shard plus whatever attack from Beedrill. So that was a good first game. Uh, that was relatively quick. I do have time for one more. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for another game Hopefully we can get mr. Mime to do something in that one as well. Be right back guys. All right guys We got another game and uh, I don't mind mr. Mime in this outspeeding needle queen outspeeding dragonite outspeeding victory bell outspeeding Blastoise. So it's actually not bad at all in this game um, Rocker is needle queen now the only thing is if I lead off with mr. Mime and they lead off with Beedrill, I'm in a bad position turn one. I'm assuming that's what's gonna mega evolve Huh. They don't have a Psychic Resist, though, so I really like Mr. Mime's ability just to do that. If they lead off with Blastoise, I'm, it's really bad for me. I'm going to lead off a Rhydon, uh, because I think that Beedrill is just a fantastic lead for me. And an endgame I'm going for is definitely a Lolan Sand Slash. As you can see, they have one Resist to a Lolan Sand Slash's Ice Stab. Uh, but Mr. Mime can make it possible. So, like, for example, if my opponent uh, has SD Victory Bell... I can, uh, I can Encore into SD or even really anything. Or Sucker Punch, rather. And then I can Calm Mind up in its face and do some damage. So, ideally, they leave Beedrill and give me rocks early. If they leave Blastoise, I'm in a, a worse position. But I didn't really have a good lead for Blastoise to begin with. So, they do lead off of Beedrill. Nice. I get up my rocks with my ride on. Early as hell. Love this. Chipping away at Beedrill. Chipping away at Zapdos. Wearing down a lot of my opponent's team. So, this is why I didn't want to lead off of Mr. Mime, because I was worried about this thing as a lead. But yeah, Alolan Sandslash is going to be key in winning this game, for sure. I think uh, Agility Beedrill has a... Uh, excuse me, Agility Dragonite has a long way, too. Goes for Reflect. Alright, I'm playing this next level Beedrill here. Hold up, that's kind of clean. I'm playing like a next level Beedrill. So, it would have been able to live a Rock Slide. But what are you going on to now? I'm just going to click Earthquake. I don't want to miss. I definitely don't want to miss Rock Slide. Especially if he U turns out into Needle Queen predicting that. That's also part of the reason why I went for Earthquake there. So they get him a Reflect, which is a crazy turn one. Not something I expected. Uh, so whatever comes in can take this hit a lot better than what it normally would. That's for sure. I'm assuming maybe Blastoise. They might go Needle Queen on predicted Rock Slide. They do go Blastoise. Alright, I definitely value damage on this Pokemon. I am very weak to it. Yep, I value a lot of... Uh, that's that's still good damage. So, my Starmie is definitely the weakest link. Uh, it doesn't have Ice Beam for Dragonite. Uh, it loses to Zapdos, loses to Victory Bell, can lose to Blastoise, loses to Beedrill. Uh, so, I think my Starmie is definitely the weakest link. And I'm only saying this just in case his Blastoise has Dark Pulse. But if it doesn't, I go out into my... Um, I go out into my... Starmie anyway, and I just check him. It goes for Hydro Pump there. As I mentioned, damage is important in general. Uh, the fact that my, my person has a, a Reflect up is really scary, but we're going to throw off a Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt. If they stay in, uh, I don't know if Dark... I don't think Dark Pulse knocks me out, unless it's Dark Pulse into, like, Aqua Jet. Then again, Blastoise is really strong. That Hydro Pump did a lot of damage. But yeah, I definitely value damage on Blastoise, because it is a problem, and it's something I can't knock out. 
They may go Zapdos here. But I'll always bring in Rhydon. And again, as long as I have SD, Alolan, Sandslash, I should win in the endgame. This is one of the Pokemon I need to weaken for it, so. They go Nidoqueen. On the uh, anticipated Thunderbolt. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to Scald you. You're something I want weaken too. Unless you're trying to go Victory Bell. I don't know. I think they just want Rocks up to get in Beedrill again. That was a really aggressive play. I was actually half tempted to click Scald too. But like if I have Hydro Pump, you die. So I don't know how I feel about this. They do. They use it to pivot. Okay, what are they pivoting into? Victory Bell? They're pivoting into Zapdos. All right, so I get Scald off. Not sure why I didn't go hard Zapdos on the anticipated Thunderbolt. It would have taken that, and now I get damage off on Zapdos and potentially a burn. No burn. That's fair. Uh, my best play is always going right on. I definitely want Zapdos gone, because besides Beedrill, it's the only Pokemon that actually outspeeds my Mr. Mime. However, if he does opt to go for U-Turn over Roosting, it's just so much better for me, too. Like, I I'm, I'm in such a good position with Mr. Mime. Goes for Light... Yo, these guys and their screens. This man is trying to set up. Alright. Uh, Rock Slide's still my play. Even though I want a Dragon Tail. Because they made U-Turn here. That light screen's actually a little annoying. Doesn't U-Turn, just goes hard into maybe Needle Queen, I want to say? Nope, right back on the Blastoise. Beautiful. So I get more damage on Blastoise. Which I value a lot. This thing is a problem for my mind. This thing is a problem in general for my Alolan Sand Slash. Uh, so we get rid of potentially the only Pokemon that uh, beats it. And I can go out to Starmie again. Starmie still knocks you out with Thunderbolt, uh, regardless of Light Screen. I'm still wasting turns of Light Screen. A Zapdos goes down to an unboosted Ice Shard. Everything's being set up. And they go for another Hydro Pump. They don't bother going for Dark Pulse or anything. And again, Starmie is easily the most expendable member here. So I have no reason to not over predict. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, set up a set up the screen. That way they can get in Victory Bell safely on my Starmie and try and set up. But what I'm going to do is they go Victory Bell. I'm going to go directly out to Mr. Mime and I'm going to Encore them. That's what I'll do. I'm going to Encore them if they go for uh, Swords Dance or anything like that. They bring out Beedrill instead. As I mentioned, this is the most expendable member on my team. Uh, so I will just be clicking Scald here and letting it go down. I don't mind them getting up a Reflect either. They do go right for U-Turn. All right, cool. So now they are in range of plus two. Uh, now they're in range of plus two. Um, Ice Shark, which is really important. And the great thing is, I can now bring out my uh, my Mr. Mime and just click Psychic, depending on what they bring out. If they bring out Zapdos, no. If they bring out Zapdos, no. If they bring out Needle Queen, I probably do. If they bring out Dragonite. Hmm. So the interesting thing is here, Mr. Mime tanks a hit. I think Mr. Mime tanks any hit. So I'm going to go out to Mr. Mime and just go for Dazzling Gleam here. I don't need to calm mine in any way, shape, or form. I just click Dazzling Gleam. Uh, one hit off on Dragonite means that Ice Shard knocks it out. This shouldn't knock it out. Mr. Mime is not all that strong. But the best they could do is go for what? Agility there? Into what? I don't think Earthquake Oko is Mr. Mime. Not from full. So we're going to go for another Dazzling Gleam here. Hey, <laughs> they forgot I'm a fairy type, my friend. Uh, I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't blame them. It's hard to remember Mr. Mime's part fairy type now. Ah, uh, that was such a, a bad turn for my opponent right there. I don't blame them, though. It's really hard to remember that fairy types are I mean, You don't really see that too much in Gen 1 anyway. Ooh, getting Beedrill now. Nice. We'll just bring out Rhydon, because we really don't care about what they go for. I don't blame them, though. I doubt they drill run, if anything. Yeah, they go for U-turn. All right, nice. So now this dies to an unboosted attack. If they bring out Victory Bell, if they bring out Victory Bell, I can just go for... Uh, I can just go for a Dragon... To Actually, no, Earthquake is my best play. Because if they set up, I can go out into my... Um, my Sand Slash and just Ice Shard. They bring out Needle Queen. That's fine. You better earthquake me, buddy. And then I get to get off a of Psychic with my Mr. Mime. Oh, they surf me. Okay, that's cool too. 
I think that's a really good move to have on Needle Queen. Because it always gets rid of uh, Rhydon. But now I can bring out Mr. Mime and show me your Psychic Switch-ins. Yes, Needle Queen can live one. But it doesn't matter. At that point, Sand Slash just wins, which is Ice Shard. Or Agility, uh... Agility Dragonite wins too, so there's a lot that wins me the game. Is it better to on Nah, I'm just gonna click. I was thinking about encoring them into uh, into Psych uh, Surf, so they do nothing. But why not just get off damage so I can Ice Shard them anyway? Yeah. Super Fang. Yeah, that don't matter. Go ahead and give me this Needle Queen, Mr. Mime. Pick Look how happy. Mr. Mime looks. Go ahead and give me that KO. Just imagine losing to this Mime. I'd be so angry because you're not even talking to me. Alright, so Beedrill can come out if it wants to. I'm pretty sure I can just sack this and win the game with Sand Slash. Or my own Beedrill. Either or wins. If they go Victory Bell, I'm going to click Calm Mind. To outplay their sucker bunch. Because I mean I feel like they might try and go. I mean Beedrill, because they want to limit the Stealth Rock switch-ins on uh on Beedrill and on uh on Zapdos, right? No, oh, they don't care. Okay, cool. That's fine either way. I'm just gonna go sand slash. I doubt you drill run. You're gonna poison jab here, most likely. Or U-turn. Uh and sand slash. Even if they draw it, I don't think I can lose because I have Outrage. And again, I have Mr. Mime to Encore. I want to keep it alive. It's it's the MVP. Yep, they go for Outrage there. Ooh. That would not have even worked on my... They tried to break my Dragonite. That would not have even worked on my uh, Mr. Mime. It's fine. I'll just SD up and win. Yep, this should be game. Uh, I'm pretty sure Victory Bell goes down to the plus two Ice Shard. Reflect is an interesting choice. I kind of like that. I, I kind of like the idea of screens. Like, I love Electrode for it, but... There we go, just Ice Shard. And that should be game. I love the way his hand slash looks in that that photo right there. My Pikachu always looks so hype. Like, yeah, we got him. Just smiling, grinning. My opponent can't do anything now. There you go. Go ahead and give me that. Hey, Mr. Mine put in some work in this game too. Help me out. That's my friend. Bro, the Dragon Knight went for outrage. <laughs> and just Mr. Mine just stood there immune. Unfazed, just kept miming, just kept memeing. That's what happened. Uh, let's say Victory Bell manages to live this. What could it do? Sleep powder? That's it. Victory Bell comes out. At the end of the day, I still have Beedrill. So I kind of hope it does live this because that way I can go Mr. Mime and show off Encore. I kind of doubt it though because I'm adamant. Yeah, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. And Zapdos goes down as well. How does Mr. Mime sound? Mr. Mime. Is that how it sounds? I feel like it, I feel like that's what I remember as a kid. Like that? I don't know. Anyway, like I said, this is pretty easy for a late game sand slash. And I knew that when Mr. Mime came in, it pretty much forced a KO. But yeah. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, a few plays my opponent could have made differently there. Um, well, obviously not outraging Mr. Mime, but even if they Earthquake, I don't think that KO'd Mr. Mime, not from full. Uh, so, Dragonite was basically gone. And I honestly, they had to keep Blastoise healthy that game, or maybe get up screens to the point of trying to set up with Victory Bell. But even then, I still would Encore Mr. Mime. So, like, let's say they went for Sucker Punch. Uh, I would Encore them into it. I would obviously avoid the Sucker Punch damage because of Encore. And then I'd be able to calm mind up, avoiding the Sucker Punch damage, and then Encoring them into it again. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. In that one, I'm not sure what my opponent could have done differently. Uh, maybe not Outraging, obviously, the Fairy type. But you live and learn. Hope you guys all enjoyed, of course. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you did. Check out the playlist down below if you missed any of my previous battles. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.